On June the 25th, the crew had been instructed to test the manual docking system again. Sasha filmed Vasily during the events that followed. He wasn't happy with the first attempt they'd made. He said this was a terrible event. He uses the word strashne. It was, it was a nightmarish event that haunted him in a way. He wasn't any longer sure in his ability to pull this off. The crew had spent the previous weeks packing another Progress cargo ship with Mir's rubbish. They were told to send the heavily laden Progress out into space and, as before, turn it around and redock it manually. I was totally ignorant of what they were doing. I had no idea what they were doing. No one at NASA knew what the Russians were doing. Once again, Vasily only had the monitor as his guide. This time, Mission Control was worried that the radar on the automatic docking system had caused the monitor to fail during the previous manual attempt. So they made a crucial decision. They switched the radar off. I'm still thinking everything's normal because no one has told me anything about what systems were turned off or on. Without the radar, Vasily wasn't given the cargo ship's speed or position. His only aid was the TV picture of Mir taken from progress. But Mir was almost impossible to see. Sasha and I, meanwhile, tried to look out a window and find this thing. They planned to pinpoint the cargo ship with laser rangefinders pointed out of the portholes to give Vasily backup distance and speed information. Vasily now was showing a little impatience for us to find it and see it and give him a range mark. Sasha had left his camera pointed at the Toru monitor. This recording from his camera has just been released to Horizon. Things had gone wrong, very badly wrong. The range and the speed had been horribly misjudged. Sasha looked extremely agitated, stood up and well, floats, came erect and said, Michael, the corable to the spacecraft. I said, Michael, the corable. Michael, from here, went to That order that Sasha gave me, the corable, don't stay and try and help us, don't let us use your expertise, don't let us do anything with you, just get out of our way to the spacecraft. I felt through my fingers a shudder, a thump on the station, and I heard what seemed to be far off, a kathump. At that point, I knew we had been hit by the progress. The progress had smashed into the solar panels. Mir was now slowly spinning out of control, and decompression had begun. После этого давления, если она ниже упала и мы не покинули станции, то 
человек он может потерять сознание в любой момент. Саша thought he'd seen the progress punch a hole in one of Mir's modules called Spectre. He knew he had to seal off the Spectre module or the loss of air would kill them. Было чувство времени вот такое. Причем вот какая-то шла борьба, вот надо быстрее быстрее по времени успеть обогнать время. Vasily was basically monitoring the pressure fall on a very sensitive instrument, a barometer, in the base block, and it stayed at his central post there. While he was doing that, we came um, into the range of the ground stations, the Russian ground stations. He told them that we had been hit. They asked him, is there a problem? He said, yes, we are leaking air. После слов разгромизации станции, то у меня сложилось впечатление, что это происходит не со мной, происходит как будто со сторонним наблюдателем. Сразу бегают мурашки по коже и кажется, что как проснуться бы от страшного сна. Что такое быть просто физически не может. The interpreter gets a funny look on his face and just looks at me and says, they hit something, just a very plain of day, ordinary tone. So I'm thinking, you know, you know, maybe the crew hit their hand with a hammer or you know, something plain like that. But then of course I ask him, you know, what do you mean they hit something? Explain a little bit. And he says, Oh well, the progress hit the space station. I was asleep again and um one of the, another one of those middle of the night phone calls which uh, had seemed to be coming too regularly and this time they said that uh, the progress hit the mirror and they said there's a leak uh, they think it's inspector they're closing the hatch and of course my next question is how in the world could this possibly have happened when i was back on the ground and heard of that accident it's about a month after i got back uh, terrible news Я помню, как притихли дети сразу. Может быть, они не столько понимали опасность того, что случилось. Может быть, моя реакция как-то вот повлияла на них. Но они были совершенно тихие и как мышки. Они... On Mir, Michael and Sasha had to close the hatch between the main module and Spectre to stop the decompression. To do this, they were forced to disconnect the power cables running through the hatchway. For the first time, I experienced a totally silent still space station where there are no fans moving there is no light on nothing is alive just our breathing is causing any sound with Mia out of control they couldn't keep the solar panels facing the sun everything had shut down even radio contact with earth <laughs> 